Hey guys, welcome back to Medieval Minecraft Creations, and um, continuing, I know I said I was probably going to do a Zeppelin this episode, but uh, I changed my mind. I, <laughs> I am going to probably try a Zeppelin, but my, my thought pattern on the Zeppelin is it's going to be kind of difficult to make. And I will, it's hard to really explain why. Um, I think when I actually do the episode, I'll explain, and you'll probably see what I'm talking about, but right now I don't really... I don't really know quite how to explain. It's going to be kind of difficult to make. At least to make it so it looks good. I have to make it really massively large. And it's mainly because of the connecting the things that are con that are going to connect the actual zeppelin like air thing to the actual boat underneath it. So I sort of explain that that it's going to be kind of it'd be kind of weird. I guess you'd have to use um, fences or maybe some of those metal bar fences but it w it's, it's gonna look odd is what I'm saying um, so I'm, I have to think of actually how to do that correctly so since I've been putting this 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 thing off for like forever I want to do an episode where I'm doing this and um, okay so you're probably looking at this thing and saying okay what a frickin mess this thing is um, pretty convoluted looking. Yeah, it, I know it looks convoluted looking. Now, several episodes I've mentioned in both this series and in the Adventure series that one of our regular commenters, uh, the Revan Chism, had made this design, this redstone design. And I know it looks complicated, but I will let him explain the actual how it works in his video. I'll try to remember to link it in here. And I'll also put an annotation on the video itself. So if you want to look at the actual tutorial on how it's made, if you want to make this for your castle, that's up to you whether you want to watch that or not. But I'm going to say I got that this design from his. And it took a little bit of working and tweaking and whatnot. But uh, this is basically the guts of it that he made. And what I want to do, because I, I moved the actual switches over to the side, is I want to make something nice around this. And I will show you right now this little demonstration here. It actually works. Goes goes up three, down three. And I will show you that. But a lot of these things are like basically timed and whatnot, and then it goes back up. And it has to use the that to, to push it back up. Otherwise, there's really no way to, to bring it back up again. So it works. It's an actual working gate that pushes up three and down three. Now, sadly, I kind of wish, you know, Mojang kind of did things a little bit differently with the piston, so maybe that you could have pushed it three or four with the piston, or maybe multiple distances with the pistons. So what, that would have eliminated all this. <laughs> but so for now, I guess unless they want to make things a little more, um, maybe make some improvements on the actual pistons themselves, which I would like them to do. But um, We'll just have to live with how it is right now. So what I'm doing today, I skate. I saved this whole thing as a schematic for for um, an MC Edit, which you can do. So I'm at, if you guys make your own and use MC Edit, I would probably save it first once you get it to work correctly. And you might actually have to watch this video like a million times and like stop it and then go and take a look. And I'm not gonna review it here. You would just have to ask him for questions and whatnot for if you're confused on some part of it. So what I'm really going to do today now is just make something pretty around this and cover up all the redstone so you don't see it. And what we'll do, we're right here in our front gate area. Now I had made all this, but I didn't really like it. I didn't actually have a gate here. And I didn't like this arch and some of these things were a little too narrow. So what I really want to do is redo the whole front area anyway. I like this building. I'm going to try and keep it maybe integrated in. And what we'll do is we're going to mirror it on the other side. So that's, this is going to be a very large project. Most likely, the only thing we're going to do in this episode is just doing the gate and making it pretty looking. And I think maybe next episode we'll... Um, or maybe just be in between episodes I'll... Um, you know actually put it there and maybe have to restructure some some of these things 
Okay, I, I'm finally pretty much on closed, except for a few spots here I apparently missed. Now this is a good starting off point. Um, I did leave that part open for making your design. So if you are doing his exact same gate design, um, this is the way to do it. I think if you knew redstone enough, you could probably move these things to the other side or move this switch anywhere. Um, me, I, I don't know things real well. So just the fact that I got it to work at all is to me amazing. So I am going to leave it as is. I don't want to touch any more of the guts now that I got the thing to work. Okay, so I mean, if you're doing it, more power to you if you want to try and manipulate this around a little bit more so the switch is on the other side maybe. So what you could probably do is have the, the redstone here and maybe run a line all the way to the other side and just, you know what I mean? Make it like right there. I'm not going to do that just because I'm too lazy. So we're, I am going to make a design based upon how I got it here. So, alright, alright. Now, we want this stuff covered up. And because it's right flush with the wall, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do it like this. Now what I want to do also is just test this out and make sure all that worked properly. Everything lowers properly and everything gets pushed up properly. Alright, so we know it works right now. So as long as we just don't break any of the circuits on the outside here, we're okay. Okay, and that's all filled in. Put the upside down stairs under these. Alright. Okay. So rather than doing filling in the arch more more arch like, I think what we'll do is just um we'll do this on this side. And I'm just I'm not, I'm only gonna I'm not gonna do much else. I think what we'll do is just let's just do this. Because the other way, when I had it all filled in, I was doing it more of an arch up point. It didn't, didn't, didn't really look like, didn't look correct. So let's just try that out. That's better. It's not as cramped in looking as it was looking just a few minutes ago. And I think I'm going to do also. We're going to create a pillar in here. that. I'll extend those off the air after. All right. Um, and then we'll actually let's repeat that right here. Yeah, that'd be better. And uh, what else? What else? Could make a little design in here. Some other brick. It's just a little too much with one brick type kind of makes you sick to your stomach when looking at it. Obviously don't mess with your, your buttons. Everything should work correctly still. I will try it one more time. It's actually, after every step you should try this. Just to make sure you got everything working right. And it should. I mean as long as you don't put nothing obstruct things right here. So, so the inside here that's not too bad. I think we'll keep that. Uh, since this is, there's three by three, we'll kind of just put some torches in here. Um, yeah, I guess that's okay for now. I will might have to come up with another design for that. Alright, so, we'll, I'll extend that after off the air. Um, let's check and look at the front now. We want to give a little bit of depth to the front. So I think what we'll do, we're going to build outwards here. So let's actually continue with this. I'm not sure everything's symmetrical. Something doesn't quite look right there. Yeah, it, it's okay. Alright, so we got that. Let's build outwards kind of following the arch. How's that? And then what we'll do is, well, 
we're going to push this whole wall out. Yeah, I know. I just didn't push it out of the way. So I'll push every, everything's going to be pushed out by two. Um, this here, I guess the road will also we'll go out with the road by two. And also, oh, hold on. Get some grass in here. Um, we're going to start going out with the grass here. So I really do hope you guys, if you are doing this, that you save the original without all this. Because you can always rework it, come back at another time and rework this. Um, if you do use the MC Edit and the schematics, just select the entire thing in the MC Edit, select it, hit copy, and then you have, it should like in the upper right corner, you'll see it there. It'll give you options to save or delete. I would hit save and just save it as like gate with all the guts opened on it, like um, pre-design. And then like when you're done, you say post-design. So what we're gonna do in here also is uh, kind of taper this road like this. See what I'm doing? So yeah, this is actually an important step. Why? Because the road, I don't want the road to be that wide. That road is freaking huge wide. So what we're going to do, and I'm not going to do it on the actual design of the gate here. When I put it in, I'll taper the road down to however wide I got it there, three or five. I forget what I, what I got. I'll just fill all this in with um, uh, something stone or something and we're just going to keep going in until we meet the, the size of the road so whatever size road you're doing you just taper it in like that and what I, I would probably do is go by twos like this to make it more gradual okay but um, from just for this part I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill all this out now okay I came back finished all that um, I had a few more details here so I want you guys to see this um, I did uh, upside down stairs here, well, the top stairs there. You can make little lines along, across this. Now, to me, this is just like whatever you want to do, you can do. You can make bigger designs than like this. You can just like chop out some. That's why you have you want to build it out so you have some room to do stuff like this for designs. Because otherwise, it'd look a little boring. This is optional too. Right now, the lighting is a little weird, but doing the upside down stairs, I put some on these. And I pushed this up one more. I'm not sure I like that, but again, if you're doing something of your own, make it your own design, you know, like go and change things around, do things how you like them, and that sort of thing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up one more because it looks a little too close to this thing here. And I'll probably do that off air before we start doing the battlement on top, which will be something like similar to what we got on the walls here. That'll be up here. But um, I will do that after. Because what I want to do now is the back here is a little too much. So I think I want to do, we want this sort of like to be like the back is, or the front, I should say. Um, I think what we have to do is sort of copy the design that we were doing there and kind of make it go outwards a little bit. And you go straight down. And I'll fill all that in. All right. Okay. I started pushing this back a little bit, but when you break in here, you got the circuitry. So, yeah, I'm, I guess I can't do that. So I just, I did that a little bit just to give a little more depth, but um, there isn't much you can do about it because the circuitry is right there. So that's sort of it. I mean, what you could really do is when you hook it into the walls, um, I will show you what I mean. You can kind of do the same thing, but in reverse on the opposite sides. Kind of like this. See what I'm saying? Have it taper into whatever our wall is going to be. Uh, I'm assuming I might end up having to get rid of some of those big, these big towers. So this will sort of be like what it is. Now, whether or not you put it in the actual schematic, or we might just work that in in the next episode, um, how to taper it into the wall and make it all kind of connect up nice. So I think this part's done. I gotta add this layer here real quickly, 
And we're going to design the top and we'll end this episode because I know this is already going pretty long. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one last look. Um, obviously, this is going to be a much longer project than I anticipated, so um, we'll continue onwards with the next uh, in the next episode with this. And I'll just show you. Um, basically, that's, this is this is finished. Now, what I'm thinking of doing, it'll be an additional project. Would maybe be some, doing something like what the, we see there on the top of this, or maybe making a tower on the top, or there's many things you can do, or just leave it as is. Kind of boring up here right now. Like you'd have a walkway around it, and maybe um, I just I would just make a, like a smaller building or something like that. But um, which I may do off air, or I may just leave it as is for now. So I will end this one, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I would very strongly suggest going to Revan Chisholm's uh, channel. Check out his tutorials. He's been making some tutorials and um, sort of like this. And um, watch the video also. I'll try and A-note it. Remember to A-notate it here. Or if I don't, it's because it's still uploading and, you know, I go to, sometimes I upload these when I go to bed and I just I wake up late and so if you watch it too early or something you won't really see any notations in it yet or something and I usually get to it at some point <laughs> so you know anyway at any rate his channel is linked on my my main channel page and you just see you know let's go to his gate tutorial and um, if it's not up yet and that'll be it catch you guys next time and rabbit is out of here